Blood from the Mummy's Tomb is the last mummy movie produced by Britain's great horror studio, Hammer Films, and it was one of the few Hammer movies of the period to earn critical praise, largely for escaping what could be called the curse of the mummy movie, repeating the same story of tragic greed and a monster's rampage again and again with different actors. Director Seth Holt succeeded in providing a fresh take on the genre by dispensing with the rags and making a monster of flesh and blood but real tragedy prevented Holt from enjoying his success. Holt died of a heart attack in the last week of production, and Hammer Studio Chief Michael Carreras had to finish the film. Universal, the studio where Mummy movies originated, revived its Mummy franchise in 1999 with the Brendan Fraser hit The Mummy and has made a string of sequels since, the next one due to hit theaters in 2016. Up next, we deviate from our script and bring you the original stage production of the bloodiest musical ever to make it to Broadway, starring none other than Angela Lansbury. Today on Turner Classic Movies, men aren't saved, but they're impeccably shaved by Sweeney Todd, the demon barber of Fleet Street. Then Peter Lorre cuts the competition in mad love. And Tippi Hedren's all a flutter over the birds.